And we've got we've got sound now. You know, as Cliff says, there's some jiggery pokery uh, amongst <laughs> us, and you know we're wa we're watching on our mobile phones. You can watch us on YouTube live, and you can watch us at the OneRing.net slash live on the and uh, Regal Cinemas YouTube channel at uh, what is it YouTube.com slash Regal Regal Movies because this is all about the best movies in town. Absolutely, seeing it in the best possible theater, a Regal theater. You know, we've got the wandering.net has been doing line parties for the last 13 years, and one of our marquee line parties uh, that we've had for every single movie has been at the Regal Cinemas at, in Irvine. And uh, I think the last movie last year, we had uh, we packed the place. I mean, every single person that had bought a midnight ticket uh, had bought it through the wandering.net. So we're happy to. Keep helping uh, people get the best tickets and find the best theaters for HFR and IMAX 3D and IMAX HFR 3D and regular 3D and 2D. And what's your favorite version of The Hobbit? Well, I'm more of a traditionalist. So uh, I, I do enjoy the 3D, but uh, I like a, a regular frame rate. I'm just that way. Stuck in his ways as Gandalf the Grey would be. Do you think, uh, I know you're not fully aware of this other guy named Gandalf the White. Uh, Who's that? And, but I, I have to think that Gandalf the White might appreciate the HFR 3D. I don't know, he just seems like a new, newer, cleaner, stronger version. It's very possible. You know, I am set in my ways. I've been at this for seven, eight thousand years now. I'd say... It, a change might be coming, and, you know, I think for this Desolation of Smog, I think I might check it out. I think I might try in the uh, high, high frame rate. Is that what HFR stands for? Yes, a high frame rate. I'll try it. I think Radagast is all about the high frame rate, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that uh, with some other cosplayers uh, out, outside. So we're here at Meltdown Comics, uh, bringing it to you live on YouTube, thanks to Regal Movies, the big super ticket event. This is one of the first super tickets available, and we have a huge line of, of dwarves and hobbits and uh, elf maidens and, and wizard, and, and there's a dark lord uh, Sauron out there. Um, w w was there any trouble uh, with the Dark Lord kind of popping in? No, no, I, I kept him in line. It wasn't a problem. He knows when to keep his eye shut. He, ha has he amassed enough power to, to uh, battle you, or is he still kind of, you know, in necromancer mode? Well, he, Spoiler! He, he doesn't have the ring yet, so as long as we keep the ring from him, I think we'll be okay. There is, there is a lot of mystery going on. And, and, and the crowds are just getting bigger here on Sunset Boulevard in the middle of Hollywood. Gandalf, you have traveled far and wide this year. Talk about some of the amazing conventions, events, uh, journeys, hobbit holes that you visited this year. Oh, there are so many. I mean, you know, the, the world of, of Middle Earth seems to be arriving in all different kinds of places. Uh, in San Diego this year at the Comic Con, in New York Comic Con. Uh, I believe, in fact, there's a, another gathering of, uh, of, of people this weekend in, Lo in Long Beach. I think it's the last major event of the year. But uh, there'll be many more. But the, but the biggest event of all, of course, will be the premiere of The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. It will be a magical day. So let's all go on an adventure together, don't you think? So the big question is, how, of course, you've probably read the book and you've read it to, to many people and you've read it for many years. Uh, do you remember reading The Hobbit? Of course I do. It was one of my childhood favorite books. It was. What, what, what does a, a Gandalf childhood uh, uh, involve? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to say because... I, I'm part of the Astari, which is sort of like, it would be like having a childhood in heaven. I guess that would be the best way to put it. So I don't really have a recollection of my, of my size or what I looked like, but, but I remember The Hobbit. And I think that must be why I tracked down Bilbo when the time was right. You know, uh, we were talking to Radagast the Brown a, a couple months ago here at Meltdown Comics, played uh, wonderfully by Sylvester McCoy. Um, and he said that, you know, Radagast, he is a little forgetful. And, you know, by the end of this, 
he might forget who he is. And that, that's some of the that's some of the the topics that that were just uh, gone over in Return of the King. Do you forget who you are? You know, even st movies like The Lion King. You know, remember who you are, stuff like that. How how do you, Gandalf, remember who you are? throughout all these journeys and adventures? Uh, is, it, is it because you surround yourself with hobbits? Is it because your friends far and wide? Hobbits are actually quite, quite relevant to that question. I find that it's the, the, the little things in life, the living life as a hobbit uh, that, that, that grounds you, that, that, that teaches you about innate goodness. And that helps me remember why I'm here. So, yes. Hobbits are very important. How many times did you see The Hobbit in theaters? Oh, I would say at least half a dozen times. And was it a different experience every time? Uh, each time was a little bit different. Uh, I would focus on different parts of the story. There's certain parts of the story I particularly enjoy, such as uh, the, the riddling scene with Bilbo and Gollum. I thought that was a particularly well done scene and captured the reality of it quite well. Or the three-ality of it, because it was shot in 3D. <laughs> you, you, yes, look, 3D. Wait, where did you... He was indeed. You were, uh, wait. Yes, in, fact, in fact, there are a number of, of, of hobbits here also from that Denny's commercial last year. Yes, we didn't make it this year, but last year we were the actual characters in the Denny's. Wait, so you're the actual Denny's Gandalf. You're, you're, you're who we saw on national TV every week. Every time I was watching Adult Swim, there was a Hobbit commercial. Uh, you're, you're the guy. Would you like to see my signature character move? Yes. All right, ready. You, you have to watch the commercial. It's the very end of the commercial. And everyone's turned to look at Gandalf. Actually, there are two Gandalfs. And I do this. It's the hair swipe. It was key. That was it. The hair swipe. Professional Hollywood uh, wizards here at work. How, 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 did you, how did you learn that move? Uh, actually, I was just very, feeling very warm, and the director said, I love that. Do that again. That's how it worked. So Denny's has a, a new Hobbit menu. Have you tried it yet? I have tried it. I, 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 I went to Denny's. And I had the Dwarven Turkey Dinner. It was turkey-licious. Very, very nice. Dwarves would, of course, made a mess of the whole thing, but you should still go there. I, I brought along a few Padawans. Oh, wait, wrong, wrong fandom. Uh, 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 wrong mashup. M m yeah, sorry. Uh, mini wizards uh, with me when I went to Denny's, and uh, it, it, they certainly made a mess of the food. I mean, there was there was definitely food and and cheese and and grits everywhere. Uh, so you can eat like a hobbit. Uh, you know, the the cleaning service at Denny's don't appreciate it, but they they do appreciate the fandom. <laughs> they do. They do. They're very, very, very gentle and kind when it comes to the fandom. So go to Denny's and have a magical meal. So how, how, how did that gig come about? You know, how, how, where, where do you call a wizard and say, hey, we, we, need, we need a wizard for our commercial? What, how, how? Where, where else would it have happened? It happened on Torn. By going to the OneRing.net, there was a notice for a casting call for Tolkien superfans. And we all arrived and auditioned, and we had our commercial. So I guess we could say you're a super fan. Absolutely. And super fans need super tickets, and that's why we're here, because we're live at Meltdown Comics, Regal Cinema Super Ticket Launch Event. Uh, this is like the first of its kind. Um, question, the super ticket has downloadable codes for the movie. Really? The first movie, An Unexpected Journey. The second movie, Desolation of Smaug, and some other awesome prizes involved. Wait, so are you saying that if you get this ticket, you not only get to see Desolation of Smog, but you get to see a digital version. You get to keep a digital version of the original Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, and a digital copy of the Desolation of Smog when it comes out? When it comes out is the key word, the Desolation of Smog digital release, which I think this year was in March or April. 
uh, when it came out uh, on Ultraviolet and iTunes that uh, you get it first. You get it like four days before it's publicly released. Well, that's so wonderful for the fans to have that a few days beforehand. Chance to discuss it before everybody else sees it. I like that very much. Do you own it digitally? Do you own the first movie digitally yet? I do. I do indeed. In fact, I own it digitally and also on Blu-ray and uh, also as a DVD. So do you own the first, uh, the extended edition and the theatrical version? I do. I have both a digital uh, original edition and the extended version, which I really like. So you're telling me that you saw it half a dozen times in theaters, An Unexpected Journey. Then you got the uh, theatrical version when it came out on, on digital download and DVD. This is what it is to be a super fan. And then when the extended edition came out, you got the DVD and the Blu-ray version and the ultraviolet digital download. That's correct. So let's do the math. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. So you've, see, you've purchased this eleven times. Uh, approximately, yes, to, to have the experience. And do you think you're going to do it again as many times for Desolation of Smog or possibly even more? Unless Gandalf's wife says, no way. That might happen. Everyone has a boss. Everyone has a ruler. Even the Astari. <laughs> so, super fan, super ticket, what are you most looking forward to with Desolation of Smaug? Is there a particular scene that you just like can't wait to see visualized? Yes, I want to see Smaug. And I want to find out whether he has arms or not. There's some question now whether or not Smog has two arms, two legs, and two wings, or whether it's just two wings and two legs. Do you think that's why they're kind of keeping him secret and we haven't seen a full body shot? I don't know. I just want it to be big, and I want to see this Cumberbatch fellow's performance as Smog's voice. I like him very much in Sherlock. And if you saw the latest uh, videos that Peter Jackson's released, you actually see Benedict Cumberbatch uh, actually moving and some motion capture he was on a treadmill and everything like that so it, it might actually be benedict mo in motion capture kind of like Gollum. i think that would be absolutely perfect since andy circus proved that a motion captured actor is at least as good as a regular non-motion capture actor I, I think his performance will stand out and will go down in history as one of the great performances of all time we agree, and he should get an award somewhere along the line uh, sooner than later. Sooner than later, absolutely. Well, before we let you get back in line, because it looks like uh, people are just crowding around, um, tell us, this oh, oh, oh. is... It's my, it's, it's my mini-me. Look. <laughs> Take a screenshot of that, guys, and, and post it on, on Twitter and Instagram. He shall pass. Will you shall pass? No, you shall pass. No, I shall pass. Let's pass together. All right. Bye. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. Stay tuned. We're going to be here for the next uh, couple hours as we get the uh, Hobbit fan event uh, going. This is, well, okay, technically not the Hobbit fan event because that was a few weeks ago in theaters live streamed. Uh, this is the Hobbit super ticket fan event live in Meltdown Comics in the middle of Hollywood. Sunset Boulevard, you don't get any more Hollywood than this. In fact, uh, in one short week, next Monday, December 2nd, you will be able to catch the One Ring at the Hobbit premiere, live from Hollywood, at the Chinese, world-famous Chinese theater. It's the biggest IMAX 3D screen. It's got the IMAX HFR 3D, which you didn't see last time. When Unexpected Journey came out, you had your choice of HFR 3D, or IMAX 3D. You couldn't get IMAX HFR 3D. So there's a lot going on. Also, there's hundreds of new theaters with Dolby Atmos. Uh, that is the most amazing sound. Dolby Atmos, if you haven't heard of it, it's a new speaker system and audio system inside theaters, exclusively for theaters. They haven't, br they're not bringing it home. It's 64 speakers embedded in the roof, in the ceiling, all around you. 64 Little speakers gives you full 360 degree audio experience. There were only, I'd say, 10 or 15 theaters worldwide that had Dolby Atmos for Unexpected Journey. And I tell you, it was a whole 
new experience. Whole new experience. Like the, the, the visuals were one thing, but hearing like exactly where in in space like you could hear when 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 uh, when when the dwarves uh, stepped on a certain bone in a certain area of the scene like you you it pinpointed like exactly where they were in in space in the frame Dolby Atmos is a, a Dol I, I have to say that I'm really excited if you can't tell because HFR you know people love it or hate it uh, I love it I think uh, Avatar is going to look good in it. I think uh, future movies are going to look great in it. I've been playing video games all my life at 60 frames per second. So uh, I can't wait to see uh, Desolation of Smaug in HFR 3D, especially IMAX. But Dolby Atmos, what, what, what HFR does for your eyes, Dolby Atmos does for your ears. So look for Dolby Atmos theaters. Most of them are at Regal Cinemas. You can go to movietickets.com, fandango.com, the official Hobbit movie, and uh, try to find a theater with Dolby Atmos. You won't regret it. It is worth maybe driving a little farther just to, just to experience the movie in this kind of new, new audio aural landscape. I guess would, would be a good way to describe it. But if you're just joining us again, we're here live at Meltdown Comics. Uh, we're streaming live on phone, Droid, YouTube, and at theonering.net slash live. You can join the chat room at theonering.net slash live. There's a bunch of fans in there chatting it up. We're gonna we're gonna uh, start looking at the chat room in just a just a little bit. Um, we've got uh, hundreds of. I mean, there's so much fans. There's there's multiple uh, video crews out there and news crews like capturing the, the capturing all the fans in line it's uh there's a, a, a lady in white oh my gosh she's she's sorrow she's holding saruman's thing like i thought saruman's not supposed to wear white there's so much going on here and uh we're just getting started so i'm just going to turn the camera around uh and you can check out uh, some of the amazing stuff here at meltdown comics meltcomics.com uh follow everybody on twitter and Facebook. Just let, just search for us, Regal Cinemas or Regal Movies. You can find The Wandering Net. You can find Melt Comics, Meltdown Comics. Uh, everybody's on Vine. Everybody's on Instagram. Everybody's on Facebook. Everybody's on Twitter. And right now, we're live with you on YouTube. We're as fancy as Chris Hardwick is at Nerdist. Remember, he did a live stream yesterday for the Doctor Who 50th anniversary, which again, was streamed live inside Regal Cinemas. And many people actually went to the cinemas, went to Regal Cinemas, and saw Doctor Who 50th anniversary in 3D. Am I right? Am I right? Right. So not only can you see movies like The Hobbit in 3D, you can watch like television programs broadcast from across the pond as they say in 3D because Regal's got it all and so we're gonna we're gonna chat with some fans we're gonna get the chat room uh, set up so we can kind of interact with you guys a little bit more and uh, stay tuned this is the Regal Cinemas super ticket Hobbit fan event hashtag I don't I don't remember the hashtag we'll keep going we we'll stay with us thanks
answer to the trivia questions, they have a chance to learn this wonderful stuff as well from home. Good. And I think we'll do like. Um,
Listen to the sound of my voice. Live stream on the OneRing.net. Everybody out there can probably hear my voice by now. I'm sure everybody out there in, uh, hey, welcome. This is a great look. This flowing costume. You're in the sweet spot. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm really, really good. We have some very interesting trivia for you. Are you do you want to play some trivia? <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> it's, called, it's called Hobbit but Hobbit. That's the name of this game. Oh, look, there's my tweet. See, people are tweeting and commenting, and, and we can follow and see what people are saying in live, real time, here. That's me, yeah. Hashtag Super Hobbit. Huh? Everyone, you guys are out there live on the live stream, right? Justin, we are live. So why don't you guys keep up with us on Twitter by using hashtag Super Hobbit, okay? Hashtag Super Hobbit. All of these things that we're doing here with the fans, the costumes, the trivia, the mischief, it's all related to that. And if you want to every, every now and then hashtag Lorena Hobbit, that's fine too. Oh, meow. Kitty's got claws. Look out, guys. Saying, watch your knees. <laughs> watch your knees. Watch your knees. Watch your knees, caps. We so you want to play a, a, game, a game? We're going to play a game. Are you cool with that? Yes. Sir. What's your name? Allison. It's Al Allison, the game player. So um, we're going to play a game that's called Hobbit but Hobbit. So Cliff's going to be Hobbit. I'm going to be but Hobbit. He's going to ask you questions about uh, the, the universe of yeah. the Hobbit. Yeah, Middle Earth. I'm going to ask you questions that have nothing to do with that. They just have to do with my life. <laughs> things, things that I'm going through. I'm looking forward to this. You right. And uh, all right, you ready? You want to do this? Yeah. I'm so ready. You guys are a motley crew of, of happy fans. Welcome. Welcome to Meltdown Comics. Huzzah! Yay! Welcome to my 100 little laughing birthday. That was the drunken Bilbo, but welcome, welcome to my 111th birthday. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, 111. Do that figure. 111. My 111st birthday. Question number one. Oh, hey, thanks, producer. Uh, question number one in our trivia contest. You know that there are three elven rings. Yes. What is the name of the ring that Galadriel wears? Like, it's been a while. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. That was a good guess. That was a very good guess. Yeah. She got it. It's Nenya. Exactly. It's like Quenya in that language. Yes, it, yes, it rhymes, rhymes with. Quenya, it is Nenya. Okay, yes. and then here's my question. What did I have for breakfast this morning? <laughs> a hobbit breakfast at Denny's. Ooh, uh, no, yum. And I'm trying to work on that. <laughs> that yes. was my question. Your, your turn. Or nothing, or nothing. That was very good. Ha, don't you, she wins a bookmark. Oh, really? We're giving away bookmarks <laughs> and other good prizes. Bookmarks. Yes, Wait, that was... Yeah, hobbit she gets... The Hobbit has to do with books? She gets at least three bookmarks. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, mic isn't working. It isn't? Oh. It's okay. I'm flush with bookmarks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Just make it rain. Make it rain. Bookmarks. Make it rain. Make it rain knowledge and reading. <laughs> reading oh, rainbow. Yes, it's right. LeVar Burton. Fantastic person. Never met him, but I hear good things. So anyway, <laughs> did you want to ask another question? Well, Did you give her a bookmark? I'm going to. Oh, I, I have all the bookmarks. Wait a minute, that bookmarks. Now? You're going to give her a bookmark. Comedy today at Meltdown Comics. There's a reason why they call it Meltdown Comics. Why? Because I'm hilarious. That's right. Um, all right, next question. Next question. Okay, this is who is the husband of Lobelia Sackville Baggins? Do you know her husband's name? I do not. Oh, that's a tough one. See, that was a, that was a four-star hard question. Yeah, that would be Otho. Otho! Who, who said that? Someone... See, all these folks over here... You, you will be in a minute. This isn't Price is Right. This okay. is a fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's a fellowship. Okay, I got you. All right. Here's my question. Con control. We have an out-of-control wizard in we the house. We have a wizard blizzard. Um, here's my question. Is my mom awesome? 
I'm going to say yes. Oh, very well. Very good. Yes, that is very true. She's awesome. She's really cool. Very good. I think, you, I think she wins three bookmarks for that. Three bookmarks for the... Three bookmarks for the... I already gave you one. Here's two. Three bookmarks. Three bookmarks for the three stages. Of but we're, but we're going to take one away for you not knowing Otho, okay? Just because. Oh. Uh -oh. Right? No, no, it's just... Otho. <laughs> it is Lotho? Otho, you didn't... Then this is incorrect. Lotho is her son. It's Otho is the husband. Oh, contention. No, but even, even one letter off, one accent on one letter, and the fans know. The fans know when there's an accent or a letter missing. It's, that's why I love the fans. Yes. Make sure that everyone at home knows that if they answer the questions in the comments on our live stream on Mingo's yes. page, yes. they can win there. They can win there, too. That's right. Oh, yeah. So remind them Welcome. Ooh. Oh, that's right. That that's is right. true. That is true. Don't worry about it. Make sure that um, your mic is the only live stream mic, so make sure that the other Got it. Are it sounds like right now you're Got it. You're, oh, we are live. Well, I wish that I could see the chat room right now because I would love to see what the people are saying to us right now as they watch this unfold. I would not like to see that. <laughs> no, that's just uh, the Twitter. No, that's just the Twitter feed, but yeah. it is kind of cool. Twitter, gigantic website. Well, so it, this doesn't work. What? It doesn't work. So now it's my turn. What? Yes. It's your turn. Go ahead. Okay. Ask a question. <laughs> Do I have? I have a third. I have. I was. It was A. It's an A. Close enough. We're gonna ask one more, Allison, uh, trivia question. But if you guys are watching at home, and I know you are, you can participate, and you can send in your answer to the trivia question using hashtag SuperHobbit, and then you can also be eligible to win one of the prizes that we are giving away today. Bam. Right. Okay. Awesome. Chapter titles in the Hobbit book. Uh -oh. What is the title of chapter two in the Hobbit? Oh my goodness. Um. Can I give you a little hint, my dear? Yes. It, it, it involves three very large trolls. Something about turning to stone. Nah. <laughs> it would be roast mutton. Thank you. There you go. Roast mutton. All right. <laughs> you, you, you know what? And now, what's your question? This is my question. <clears throat> yeah, what's up? What? And I'll give you a hint. My, my question has a hint in it. What East Coast College is suing me? What? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's also the answer to what East Coast College did I go to? I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's in Massachusetts. Okay, I'm gonna say Columbia. No, no, that is incorrect. Uh, it's Boston University. Oh, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking New York City. I'm so sorry. That's totally fine. I'm New York, Massachusetts. It's like one of my favorite places. Um, yeah, but it's fine. It's all settled. <laughs> Did you just get too real in here? Everyone's really, <laughs> everyone's really awkward. That was funny. There you go. We have, we have, for you, my dear, excellent playing. Well done. Allison, the game player. She scoured the Shire, but today she's won our hearts. And Saruman. You and Saruman scoured the Shire, yeah. Another, another player? Yes, another player. Thank you, Allison. Yay. Is that, should I be using okay. this microphone? Yeah, yeah, yes. So this is the live stream? This is the live stream, Mike. That's the only one they can hear. This is for all the other cameras that we have? So you can, look, you can just do this. Actually, here, I'll, or I'll have Cliff hold this mic. And this is for the live stream. This is the live I'm going to direct the live stream mics. Here, and this is for the other camera. And does it work? Mm -hmm. It does work, but it doesn't work in the live stream. That's right. Okay. Okay, very good. Hello. Mm -hmm. So, welcome back to Meltdown Comics. I know that we have, how many cameras? One, two, three, four. So, so many cameras. So many I have the, I have the, this mic is the one that works for the live stream. We're looking wherever we're looking. It doesn't, yeah, just look wherever. It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Say yeah. You. Say thank you. Oh, uh, I think I can hold it. You can hold it. <laughs> yes, you can. She can. She can hold it. She's taking it over. She is totally in charge now. I love it. Producer, take note. This is a woman in charge. This is how it works. She's a dwarf princess. Dwarf princess. Dwarf princess. Of course, she's in charge. You look fantastic, my dear. So, who is the hero of the story that you're rooting for? Super hero. Yes. Who? Bilbo. Yay, Yay, Bilbo! <laughs> <laughs> and are you ready to see the dragon on the screen? Are you ready to see Smaug? The big uh, dragon? Smaug, Gus, Bottles, Scary Spiders, yeah. the dragon, 
Bilbo Baggins. And? How about a bunch of dwarves? Dwarves. Lots of dwarves. Lots of dwarves. And? Who else are you going to see? The bear man? The bear man. <laughs> <laughs> That's also my nickname. Hobbits. Hobbits. Yes, and more hobbits and more elves. Lots of elves. Oh, elves. Oh. Yay. Legolas is back. <laughs> more elves. You win. <laughs> You win. Well done, my dear. Well done. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Kathy, Karen, lovely to have you here. Yep. Now, I have a real trivia question here for, for you. me. Oh, yes. I, I get the real trivia question. There's okay, some, Karen, there's turn around some mischief the here. Oh, mischief. Do you, I know you know the answer to this. Okay. I hope you do. What, that would be embarrassing if I didn't. What is a mumak? A mumak? In the world of J.R.R. Tolkien, what is a mumak? Well, it's also the Oliphant. Yay! You win! <laughs> the oh, I love how... How sure you were in that in that question right there? You're like, uh, it's also. <laughs> here's a bookmark. Okay. I've always wanted to see Here's my here's my uh, here's my butt hobbit uh, question. You can help answer this one, Karen. What? <laughs> what expensive car company is suing me? <laughs> not really. Not really. Not really. Oh, no. Not really. Not really. I was gonna throw out, you know, Ferrari. Oh, back Italy, so. really? Yeah. No, Ferrari's not suing me. Um, oh. Everyone that's suing me is, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm getting sued. I'm getting. I'm going to get sued by this establishment. Down too. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, you know what? You get a bookmark for that. Probably at some point, I will do something in this room that will that will result in a lawsuit. <laughs> like stepping on her dress, maybe. I'm not going to step on her dress. Definitely not. Definitely not. Looks fantastic. Really good. Okay, great, we're, we're going to go sit. Say goodbye to the camera. Say goodbye. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> good night. Goodbye. Good night, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Wave over there. Wave over there. Oh, oh, a curtsy. Much better. You get a book. Oh, Karen, you get a book. Oh, nice. Very good. Ooh. Guys, this is the brand new. It's the new? The Jude cover. Fisher. Jude Fisher, she's a really nice lady. Really, really cool book. This is for you, my dear. Enjoy. The, Say new, thank you. the new Desolation of Smog Visual Companion. Hi, that's guy. Very nice guy. Very nice. <laughs> thank you. You're nice guy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You and you're a very nice dwarf. Very nice. Yeah, he is a nice guy. You should see him when he's sober. It's really nice. What? <laughs> yeah. Watch Ladies out. We are ready for our next contestant as our trivia contest rolls forward. Let's play Hobbit Butt Hobbit. Oh, oh our, producer, our, producer. our producer, our producer's chosen somebody. A gigantic fan of Tegan and Sarah. Canada shout out, Canada shout out. Right, Canada shout out. Are you, from, are you Canadian? I'm from Spokane. Uh, Washington State, that's close enough. <laughs> What's your name, contestant? Robert. Hello, Robert. Are you ready to play Hobbit Butt Hobbit? I don't think I'll ever be ready. Oh, that's exactly why you're here. Yeah. Cliff, the first question, please. Who said to Denethor, for I am also a steward? Who said that? Not to be confused with Denethor Aniston. Faramir? No, indeed. Good guess. It was Gandalf. Oh. Ah, it was good Gandalf. It was good Gandalf. Good gravy. There's there. You keep coming up. It was Gandalf. It was Gandalf who said, for I am also a steward. Steward of Middle Earth. Right. Gandalf, no help. Yeah. No help. Right. More like Gand off. We've got off. Uh, I got nothing. Okay, here's my butt hobbit question. <laughs> what is the name of the sitcom in England currently starring Sir Ian McKellen and Sir Derek Jacobi? I thought that these were supposed to be about you. Technically, that is. I've seen it on a plane to Korea, <laughs> and uh, I was like, this exists, and I, I watched a lot of it, and it's so bad and so good at the same time. Wicked. Ooh, that is, that's really close. That's really close. It's called Vicious, and I will give you, I'll give you a, I'll give you a half, a half a bookmark. <laughs> Not really. Here's a bookmark. There you go. Thank you. But I appreciate the effort. That's close. That's really close. It's called Vicious. It's going to get canceled, but I like it. Here's back, back to Tolkien. Okay. Tolkien. Back to the Tolkien question. Mm -hmm. okay. Who was the white shining figure that Frodo saw at the Ford of Bruinen? This is a book question, not a movie question. Right, because in the book it was uh, Arwen, but in the, in the, mo in the movie, it, in was the movie it was Arwen, and in the book it was... 
a different elf. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, that's correct. Totally accept that I'll take it. He, he gets. Does he need a, does he need a yeah, lifeline from the crowd. Okay, uh, no, you guys in the crowd definitely know it, but we're going to give this guy a couple of bookmarks. This is great, very good. It was Glorfindel. Glorfindel, yes. Yeah, so it's Glorfindel. Yes. Okay. Which I heard is very good to take when you're feeling a little sick. I've heard that as well. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see the wink, but the wink made it. The wink made it. Okay, here's a question for me. Uh, how many pairs of Nikes do I own? I'm going to go with seven. No, the answer is 12. <laughs> 12. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've had a couple of years to collect them, and I've worn probably one of them because the other ones are too shiny. They're, fa they're too fancy for me. I didn't know I was co-hosting with Imelda Marcos over here today. Uh-oh, Imelda Marcos Jackson. What? That doesn't make any sense. But I appreciate the effort. Here's another bookmark. Good stuff. Have they sued you yet? What? Have they sued you yet? It's on the way. <laughs> I'm going to sell them so that way I can get it sued. Okay. Thank you very much. What's your name again? Robert. Good job. Thanks, Robert. Mm -hmm. Cheers, man. Well done, Thank Robert. you. Well done. Yeah. Well done, Robert. Whoa. Whoa, watch Whoa. out. Whoa. A shirt. A Replace that Tegan and Sierra shirt and with a Hobbit shirt. One of, our, one of our next fans who would like to participate in our trivia contest. Uh-oh. The last trivia contestant. Uh-oh. The last trivia contestant? She just did a cartoon start. Okay. What's your name contest? What is your name contestant? My name is Fur. Fur? Fur. Hi, Fur. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, Hi. Hi. Nice Good to meet you. Good to see you again. I know. Nice like, to meet you. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to play Hobbit, Butt Hobbit? I'm ready to play Hobbit. I'm a bit scared of Butt Hobbit. Oh, a lot of people are very scared of Butt Hobbit. <laughs> I would be too alone on a dark night. My hey. Watch out. Of all the young hobbits in the fellowship, who wanted to see, quote, elf magic, unquote? Sam. Right on. Right on. It was Sam. It was Sam. Sam. Well done. A couple, that's a couple bookmarks. Right, you can, you are the correct answer marks. gets, no, I think three. All right, here's another thing. Three marks of a book. I have a plethora of bookmarks. Oh, good. Do you have a plethora of? CFA, I have a plethora of bookmarks. <laughs> Dag nabbit, I was going to do a three amigos question, but never mind. Um, now here's my butt hobbit question. Okay. What actor... Turned down the role of Forrest Gump to do the movie Cops and Robbersons. Uh oh. You know, I'm just gonna say the first name that popped in my head. I'm gonna say Martin Short. No, Chevy to the chase. Really? Yeah, come on. Kidding. Yeah, he was one of the people that was up for the role, and he was like, Nah, I'm gonna do something dumb. Chase, I love me some. Chevy. Love you some Chevy Chase. I do. I love him. Okay. He's funny. Yeah. yeah. One bookmark for a wrong answer. One bookmark for a wrong answer. This is very, this is very, this is very, this is very millennial scoring. <laughs> very millennial scoring. All right, another tricky question related to the Lord of the Rings. Who are the two twin sons of Elrond, Lord of Rivendell? Eladon and Elro here. Excellent. <laughs> Eladon and Elro here. I think, I think she deserves a fantastic prize. Guys, we do have a, that was... A fantastic prize. And in a, rela in, a related, in a related name note, <laughs> who wrote the book Dianetics? Carl Sagan. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you were closer before. It's L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron, L. Ron Hubbard. Oh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Because of the L. Nobody? Okay. Okay, some, one person got it behind the camera. Giggling. Horrible at Butt Hobbit. <laughs> All right, we did it. There you go. Take that. Oh, yeah. So first person, sure. first person oh, to comment correctly, we'll message them on, uh, on YouTube and, and deliver the fair way to deliver the prize. That Twitter person got it right. Who? Where? Roast Mutton? Yeah. Lafayette? Yes. Okay, Good job, so Lafayette. Let's, let's do two questions for. Two Straight questions. into the thing? Yeah, Thank yeah. you, dear. Well done. Well Thank done. you for. Well done. Careful. That's okay. Right. Let's go. Let's go this way. Mm -hmm. What beautiful music! Oh, okay. All right. Something. What? Yeah. Oh, about me? 
They could look oh, at IMDb, like I did. And you can Google it. Okay. They'll look it up on IMDb. So, all right. A question about your CV. And we're here in Eladon. There you go, Lafayette again. Lafayette is winning all these prizes left and right. Um, I'm glad you guys are tuned into the live stream. Again, we're doing some exclusive trivia questions right now just for you guys at home. So I know we've got international fans from around the world. England, I know it's a good time zone for you now to be on the show because they join us at 5 o'clock when it's 2 a.m. Is it? What time is it there right now? Well, right now it's probably moving up into 7 or 8 p.m. Yeah. It's still awake. It's prime time. Okay. All right, you guys join the show live and use the hashtag SuperHobbit. Hashtag Super Hobbit. Any of you guys who can get this question, these couple of questions correct, we have super tickets, we have regal tickets to give away to you guys. That's, that's on. It's so on. Well, you just have one? And if they're, uh, if they're not oh, the first person. If you're not in a super ticket area, we will send you other swag. But it is also the first person to answer the question. That's right. So I guess... In Fantastic. Okay, yeah, you guys are going to have to be in the United States where Regal actually has cinemas. If you're outside the country, then we'll have some other equivalent prize for you. But welcome aboard. We're going to do it. Online trivia begins right now. There is one member of the fellowship who was demanded by the elves that he be blindfolded before he entered Lothlorien. Who was that character? Send your answer to Twitter and make sure to include at you know, Meltdown Comics, because that's where we are, and at Regal Cinemas, most importantly, at Regal Cinemas. Regal Movies, at Regal Movies. That's what I meant to say, at Regal Movies. I will never make that mistake. <laughs> at Regal Movies is the Twitter that represents Regal Cinema. So use at Regal Movies, and use hashtag SuperHobbit, and answer who, alone of the fellowship, did the elves demand should enter Lothlorien blindfolded? Only one of the nine. So you got one out of nine chance to get yeah. it right. I know the answer because I just looked at it. Send it to hashtag Super Hobbit. Are we, and now you have a... Wait, Toad's going to wait. So it's like, that's the first person to answer gets it, right? Yes, that's right. So we'll see when that happens. There's a time delay on that. So I can tell that. Mm. And here's a real question. Okay, perfect. Sure. You're probably right. Here's a real question for Butt Hobbit. A question from my life. Okay? All right? What city... Was I born in? No. <laughs> I could guess, but I won't. What city? That's a winning question. What city was I born in? At Regal Cinemas, at Meltdown Comics, hashtag Super Hobbit. You can Google it. So it's on Googs. This man lives a very public life. You can you can find out these details. Unfortunately. Oh no no! These are for online. These are. Oh, they she already answered. She okay. tweeted it. Oh, good. If she get, if she's first. No, no, she's not. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. She knows the answer. Checking the Twitter feed. You ready? Next online Tolkien trivia question for you guys. Chapter titles of the Hobbit. Now these are fairly easy, but for some of you today in person, they've actually got them wrong. What is the title of chapter three in the book of the Hobbit? What is the title? Of chapter three. What's the title of chapter three in The Hobbit? Here's a hint. It's not called chapter three. <laughs> or roast mutton. That was chapter two. Ch chapter two was roast mutton. Okay. Chapter three, tweet your answer to at Regal Movies, hashtag Super Hobbit. First person to answer that correctly will win. Oh, wow. Do we have any other butt Hobbit? Do I have a butt Hobbit question? Okay. Here's a real, here's a real, uh, <laughs> here's a real butt Hobbit question. Um, what late night television talk show have I done stand up comedy on twice? I know this one. Booyah. <laughs> Booyah is not the name of it. I wasn't telling you the answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. You guys still joining us? Look here. Check, check this out, man. Check yeah, what's up? That is. The actual live chat. Oh, where goodness. All of our fans are in our built in chat room on the OneRing.net. Awesome. Now, you guys can usually watch us, you know, on the OneRing.net slash live every Thursday. I mean, Tuesday, blah. Every Tuesday when we do our live show here from Meltdown. But I can see a lot of our fans and our usual folks are right there. And I can see the answer just got posted. Where? Right there on the bottom, right at the bottom. There's the answer. Thank you, Tim Delph. You got it right. 
Okay. Oh, goodness. Look, see, somebody else answered your button. Right there. <laughs> got it? I, think it I love that he doesn't know who I am. We're going to be back live on the air in five minutes. We're going to reset the camera. Refocus. More activities and more mischief here at our Super Hobbit event. Thank you for joining us. Boom. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can put these this down. Guy, this guy's upset. Chapter title is a short rest. A short rest of the chapter title. So what are going to do next? Yes. We're going to have This guy's like, who is this guy? Why is he there? <laughs> is he born in Rochester? I hate him. <laughs> Rochester? He's born in Rochester. What are we worried about? Portales, New Mexico. Oh, I mean, that's not an easy answer. No, it's not. Because I didn't spend a lot, I, I didn't grow up there, I was just born there. Right. Oh, my back, man. Good. We will. What do we do with this thing? Someone said, hey, Cliff. That's Tedderus. Tedderus. Hey, Ted. And Tim Dolph was like, who is he? About me. Yeah. Gimli, you got that right. Uh, son of what is the but or not but Hobbit thing about? They don't get that. Because they seem yeah. late. This is anything but Hobbit. Here we go. I'll take oh, that. Take that. We'll hand this back. Question. This is a Lord of the Rings question and not a Hobbit question. That's right. That's, yeah, some of them. But I, I don't know. Mix it up. I, I, it up. I, I did mix them up. Hey, dude. How are you? Yes. Yes. Even though I didn't go to bed until 4 o'clock in the morning and then I had to pick up at 8.30. So. Good morning. Good morning. Are you having fun? Doctor Who party. Oh, yeah, I heard it was a big night. Time, time and space. What's crazy, what blows my mind is that in one week.
is excellent. Okay. This is excellent. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back live here at our Super Hobbit uh, event with, um, with uh, well, my, my dear, your name again? Paula. Paula. Paula is here doing our archery contest, okay? This is our target. You have to hit Gollum to win. Do not hit Gandalf or you will lose. And we've got an international worldwide audience watching. Say hi. Hello. Hey, everybody. Regal Cinema's super tickets being given away today here at Meltdown Comics. I think you're a contender. You could have been a contender. <laughs> I think you're a real contender. Are you ready? I sure okay. am. All right, I'm going to get out of the way and let the sh let may the odds be ever in your favor. Uh -huh. nah, President Snow, whatever. Okay. Here we go. I know, it's tricky. It's, whoa, near miss. A near miss. Very good. Good try, though. Very good try. Does she get one shot only? One more shot. One more shot. Get a redo. Who's got an extra arrow? Here we go. Now, look at this high-end weaponry here. It's hard. Okay, I got I it. It's trickier than it looks. Well, I wonder if this will... No? Okay. Here we go. Let's... Try it one more time. A little bit to your right. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And oh, it's hard. I'll show you. Hold on. The key is you want the string to be on. It is very tricky. Okay. Ready on three. One, two, three. Oh, so close. So close. See. Good job, okay. Paula. Very good job, Paula. Yeah, here's your things right here. Oh, and we have, we have arrows to recover. You know what? When I was watching Catching Fire, I was wondering how Katniss was recovering all of her arrows because she used them all. And then Legolas, Legolas has the same problem. He uses all of his arrows up. Our next contestant. Hello, sir. What's your name? Nathaniel. Nathaniel, welcome aboard. Do you have anything to say hi to the fans online? Are you looking forward to seeing the desolation of Smaug? Yes. Yeah? Here you go. Good stuff. You're going to get one of those at a time. I will hold this extra one. You get two shots, my friend. Take another step right here. Yeah, see, there's your mark. Put your toe, let your front toe be on the front of that mark. That's it. Good, 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 good. Okay, now remember, you have to hit Gollum, but not Gandalf. I wish you guys could be here to do this yourselves. This is fun. No! So close. One more try. Here you go. Nathaniel, what do your elf eyes see? Uh, no, go ahead, just shoot. Yeah, Gand Gollum, hit Gollum. Oh. Woo! You hit, him, you hit him both, but I'll give you a win for that, buddy. I will totally give him a win for that. You had him, and it was a ricochet shot off of him. That was good. Very good. Well done, young sir. Then we have an excellent prize. Good job, buddy. That's Jude Fisher's new visual companion for The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug. Who is our next contestant? Yay! Who's our next contestant? You, sir. Here you go. You want to try this one? Okay, good stuff. And your name, sir? Robbie. Hey, Robbie. Welcome aboard. Hi. We're on the live stream here hey. on the on the net. Hi. Are you ready for your super ticket for Regal yeah, Cinemas? Right. Yep. I think so. Let's do it. Awesome sauce. This guy has some skill, so watch out. I know. I don't know. <laughs> He's got some skills. Bring it. Bring it. The target that you want to hit is not that guy. Here we go. Oh, that was... You hit the shirt. You hit the shirt. That's very good. Let's get one more. One more. That's very close. A worthy, a worthy opponent. He's a worthy opponent, ladies and gentlemen. One more shot. Oh. I think these things play to the left a lot, so you might want to, yeah, you might want to bear the margins out a bit. Bam! Awesome sauce. All right, well done, sir. Well done, sir. Well played. Now, do we have another costume? I want to find, you know what? I would like to get the Witch King to come and do this, but his headgear would totally interfere with his ability. Christy, can we do a little archery with you, my dear? Yeah, let's do it. Because I love your costume, and I want to see some of this. Oh, sweet. No one but me. Not even me. <laughs> okay. 
You're going to need your weapon of choice. Usually the wizard prefers this weapon you know, right here. You hit Gandalf, right? On purpose. <laughs> Revenge is sweet. <laughs> oh, wait, that's my golem. Ooh. That was pretty good, though. Twice. You get two hits. Yeah, yes. Hi. Abandon reason for madness speech. Madness is always so much more fun. Whoa, good shot. That's a winner. That's a winner. Good job, Christy. Well done. I have this carefully in hand. Very. We're 10 years old at this point. And it is still holding up beautifully, isn't it? That's great. <laughs> so say hi to everyone on camera. Christy, you win a prize. You win a Cupid doll, my dear. Oh, a Cupid doll. Win... May I? That's good stuff. I know. I was just, we were looking at the other one though. It's awesome. Yeah, Thank you. Like big reveal of Bayorn. This, this book has the biggest reveal of Mikkel Persbrandt as Bayorn. And he's, he's going to be awesome. I think he looks awesome. Yeah. Do we want to show people? It spoiler? Is, it's a, yeah, it's spoiler. Cool. It's a wild design, isn't it? Big spoiler for the Bayorn design. Mm. Oh, Gandalf wants to see too. Go ahead. You can go show Gandalf. We'll see. Is that good? Do we need any other contestants here on this? Yeah, you want one? We got one more. Tr My friend, you've got to try. Huh? No. <laughs> we have one. Oh. Okay. Do you want to do him first? Here we go. Thank you. Recovering Legolas's arrows. This is practical weaponry right here. I know, it's true. You ready, my friend? Yeah. What's your name? Jorge. 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 Hola. What's up? Yeah. Está bien? Bien? Todo sobroso? Yeah, everything good. <laughs> Everything's good. Todo sobroso. Everything's delicious. So good to see you guys. He's, he's got skills too, ladies and gentlemen. Watch. No. Close. No? Close. No. You've got to hit Gollum's face. Hit Gollum's face. Yeah. But no. Not the wizard. Hit Gollum. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, nice. Two shots, two shots. Good try, Jorge. Good try. And now, hello, dudette. Sweetheart, how are you? Hey, elegant and lovely. Are you ready? And there are some dwarves, as we see in Keeley, that actually do have archery skills. Okay, yeah, you can come forward. Here's your mark here. You can keep coming forward here. That's your spot. Okay. Huh? Oh, I'll put this one in for you. This goes in the front. Right there, okay. And it goes right through. There you go. See? Could you hold this, my friend? Thank you. We'll put this on here. Oh, no, you got to hold that with your fingers. That will fit. There you go. Now pull. Pull. And try to hit up. Oh, this way, kiddo. There you go. Let's put that. There you go. That's perfect. Okay, go ahead. Pull it all the way back. And then let go. Oh, it's oh, not. It's not. It awesome. doesn't have a notch. No notch. Oh, these, sorry. these, these don't have notches. You can you hold it like that? I got it. There you go, dear. Perfect. Oops. I know. You see this? These arrows are funny. They don't hold. You got it. Yeah, you got it, baby. You got it. <laughs> I know. Huh? It always, it always comes off. This is funny. This is gonna take one quick second. Okay, Karen, you hold your left hand out. Hold your left hand towards, no, your left hand. Yeah, hold this hand, pull that out, and I will, I will do this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Go Got it. Let me, let me do this. Let me do this part, okay? You yep. Hold it out. You hold it out. There you go. And fire. Close, but no cigar. Close. Yes, Kathy. Kathy finds herself equally challenged by the clever design of this. Good shot, my dear. There's one more arrow there. One more shot for you. 
It is. It is. <laughs> yeah, aim high. Is that the Army or the Marines? Aim high. Air Force. Air Force, yes. It was Air Force. Aim high. Yes. Got it. Oh, you hit Thorin. She hit Thorin right in the face. That's a good, good, very good. Good job. Good job, guys. Thank you for joining. Our lovely to see you, Karen. Lovely. She totally oh, thank wants you, my dear. And it looks fantastic. Do we have one more contestant? Yes, I think. My dear. Cool little brooch, little leaf, leaf of La Florian brooch. Looks great. Good to see you. Here, turn around real quick and say hi to all the fans online. Yeah, this is a great costume. It's so great. I like the colors. I'm Clifford. I'm Amy. Amy, good to see you, Amy. Come on. This is your mark. Okay, here is your bow of choice. And you get a couple of arrows. Here's the first one. Okay. I know, it's really tricky because there's no notch on the arrows. And now, Amy, right? Yes. Tell me, what do your elf I see? Why so precious? I know, why so precious? Now, the idea is to hit Gollum right there. I know, this is the same, same exact problem I had with it. Don't do it like your regular bow. Pinch it like this. Yeah. You know, yeah, a little two finger pinch yeah, should like work. That will be better. Yeah. Okay. Good shot. That was an opening salvo. That makes me grateful we don't have razor-tipped arrows in here today. <laughs> grateful. Yeah, way to the yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh, good try. Good try, dear. Thank you for coming. Great costume. Hey, well done. Yeah, we will be back live in just a few minutes. But in the meantime, if the camera looks around well done sir oh, certainly. Awesome. we have this awesome uh, shirt from the one ring.net that used to be available at comic-con a few years ago this was our exclusive shirt which was a, a joke on uh, Heath Ledger's the Joker as well as Gollum how have you been sir oh quite well quite well Good I've been you, enjoying awesome. myself me too yes great people here lots of wonderful hobbity fans yeah there are some great hobbity fans here today and there's a lot of surprises still in store. We're giving away more swag. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. And did you see the Bayorn picture in that visual companion? I did. I couldn't believe it. I was seen eyebrows like that. No, no, no. Those make my eyebrows seem positively pencil-like. <laughs> no. Yeah. We thought that you had the biggest bushy eyebrows in Middle Earth. No, not at all. No, he's got me beat. He's sure. got my beat. I'm going to have to be Bjorn next year. <laughs> have to do that. It's a good idea. That's going to be a fun addition. Absolutely. To your repertoire of Middle Earth characters. Yes, it will. it will. We'll be back live in just a minute or two as we reset the shot. Thank you for being here, guys. Awesome. Woo. Archery. Oh boy. So are you familiar with the Hobbit and Game of Thrones folks? Yes. That's great stuff. Here's the packets. Uh, so that's the next thing we're going to do for the live stream. This is great. Okay. Oh my God. Trying to find out where Sala is. And, uh, where is the next place the live... Oh, Justin's, Justin's fixing the camera. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. Yeah, we need to... We need to keep our eye on things. Uh -huh. I know you guys are keeping two eyes What's on things. Are we going to do the dancing bit? The dancing bit's going to be fun. Well, we want to do this on the live stream, right? Mm -hmm. So wherever we can get that camera. 
and just get people just get people out to play and throw them out to throw them, yeah. I was all like, dude, what are I going to do to get a book? Pick me up with a book. They're like, you want to go do dwarf rap? I'm like, okay, I'm all over that. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah, the rap battles. Mm. Yeah, I want a hat too. The roast thing? Yeah. No, 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 maybe I just, maybe I haven't read it. I love the idea of the roast. Oh, I was looking at that earlier, Christy. Okay, uh, Devin, go grab Gabe, go. Whoever's not doing something. And, and fan, fan impressions of their favorite characters is something else we love to do. Yeah. Hobbit, um, spelling bee? Um, do the uh, Game of Thrones other trivia. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing outbreaks of frivolity right outside here. They're doing rap battles over there. Oh, nice. <laughs> good one. Very good. Very good. Very good. Karen is on. Okay. We're going to do a game, guys. We're going to do a new game here on the live stream for the Super Hobbit uh, event here. Hashtag Super Hobbit, by the way. This is a Game of Thrones versus the Hobbit quote contest. So the people who are involved in this contest have to figure out if the famous quote comes from Game of Thrones or from the Hobbit. So if you know the difference between your J.R.R. Tolkien and your George R.R. R. Martin, you might be doing okay. That's the essence of this game. Okay, so I'm going to reach into this magic envelope, and I'm going to start pulling out some um, surprising quotes. And uh, oh, well, how, how many do we have? We have a whole lot in here. Each one is a separate one. Okay, let me see. Let me see. What's inside? Oh, here they are. Oh, nice. There's a whole packet. In fact, I can just take them right out. There you go. I will take this packet out. This is exciting. It's an early Christmas day here at Meltdown Comics. You know, we're getting some really great tweets from uh, the Twitterverse out there. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Robert's on over there. I can, I have to, I have to acknowledge this. This is great. <laughs> so gold. That's so gold. That's funny. Can you guys hear that? That's great. <laughs> Woo! Well done. That was really well done. That was awesome. They're doing a, a rap over there, a rap battle. Okay, guys, this is really, really good stuff. Um, wow, we have quotes from The Hobbit, quotes from Game of Thrones. Who's going to be our first contestant? You, sir, it's standing behind all two of you. This gentleman. He's going to be our first contestant. Okay, here's a quote. You have to tell me if it's from Game of Thrones or from The Hobbit, all right? Famous quote, I think you might recognize this or maybe not, it depends. Don't tell us about dreams. Dream dinners aren't any good and we can't share them. Where's that from, The Hobbit or from Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. 
No, it's from The Hobbit. It's from The Hobbit. They are going through Mirkwood, and Bombor falls asleep in the enchanted stream, and he's been dreaming about dinner. And the dwarves are complaining, don't tell us about dream dinners, we can't share them. That's, that's, to I know, hard, a hard one, very good. good. I would like to give you one more, okay? I'm going to give you another one, there's some other stuff. Minds are like swords, I do fear. The old ones go to rust. Is that Game of Thrones or Hobbit? I'm going to say The Hobbit. That one was Game of Thrones. Oh! Ho -ho, bam! <laughs> trying to mix it up for you, buddy. Good try. Very, very much. well done. Don't worry. No, one, no one's going to walk away empty-handed. We've got a million bookmarks. Do you want to you come up on here? Or, oh! I had my head chopped off at WonderCon two years ago for Game of Thrones. So You did? Yes, did. Oh, that was so Sean Bean of you. Oh, I know. Yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so Sean Bean of you. Okay. Ask me away. And okay. No help from the peanut gallery. No help from the peanut gallery. Gosh, this you, there's so much. Oh, we do have we do have some bottles of water back there if you want to get some. Okay, we'll do that. Well, now I'm going to take a quick look without you sneaking a look at my papers. Sneaking a look at sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. She is so sneaky. All right, Come here. Anyone's turning her back. Anyone's turning her back. That's fine. Okay, good question. Here's a quote. Name whether this is from The Hobbit or Game of Thrones. Do the dead frighten you? That would... From The Hobbit or The Game of Thrones? Yeah. Um, okay. See, um, he, he knows now. See, I got him one and he knew it. It's too late now. Okay. It's Game of Thrones. It was correct. That is correct. Game of Thrones. It was Game of Thrones. If it was Lord of the Rings, then I'd be really <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. That was well done. Kathy has won. Very good stuff. We have we have more gifts for you, and we have one of our. Oh, oh hold on! I wanted to reach. I'm going to reach out to you guys next. One of you guys. One of you two. Who wants to come in here and do one of these quotes? All right. You you gotta you gotta do this, man. You gotta do this. Okay. Th this is a quote. You have to guess whether it's from The Hobbit or from Game of Thrones. Okay. Such bees, if one were to steam me, he thought, I should swell up as big as I am. Lord of the Rings. Nope. No, we're not, we're not doing Lord of the Rings. It's either The Hobbit or Game of Thrones. Okay, The Hobbit. You're right. That was from The Hobbit. And do you know what bees he's talking about? Uh, no, I do not. Yeah. <laughs> Bayhorn's bees. Bayorn, we have a winner here, too, right here. We have a winner right here. Well done. I... I'm trying to stump everyone. Okay, now, uh, who else? This young man, you were waving your hand at me next. You want to do one next, too? No, you're fine. We'll, we will, we will, we will chit chat. Hello, how are you? Welcome. What's your name? James. James? Hey, yeah. welcome. Say hi to the live stream hi. right there. Okay, we have a bunch of quotes here. I have to find the right one. Um, uh, last one? This is the last one? Okay. That. that do the dead frighten you? That was a, that was a very 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 good one. Okay. Though there's so many quotes here, I just need to find the right one. Okay. Oh, that's too easy. That's too easy. Any reference to the king's hand, and you obviously know. I can't do it that when there's a reference to the king's hand, and and I mean really. Um, Oh my gosh, there's just so much to choose from. And oh, some of these are in Spanish. Mientras he vida he esperanza. No, I don't even know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to brush up on my Spanish. Okay, let me, all right, let me throw something out. This is from The Hobbit or from Game of Thrones. Third time pays for all. Is that is in The Hobbit? Yes, that's right. That's from The Hobbit. Well done, my friend. Good job. Good job, Jim. And we have another winner with a hat. Good done. Okay. Uh -huh. Third time pays for all. It's from The Hobbit. I don't know. I don't really know. Hi. How are you? Good to see you again. Isn't that a fabulous book? Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Look what she won. Look what you won. You won a great book. Oh, I got a question. Okay. Got a question. What's the question, sweetie? 
I'll go to the Hobbit. You're going to go to the Hobbit, yeah. and are you going to hide, or are you going to watch the spiders? I'll go to Spanos. Yeah, You're gonna the watch spiders Bilbo are going to fight the spiders. Huh. It's going to be wonderful. I like you. I like you, too. It's so good to see you all the time, Karen. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Okay. That's good. We, we are now done with our... I'd really like to do one more because these... Somebody worked so hard on these. Can I... Well, you've already played in our archery game. Can we get someone else who hasn't come in yet? Oh, my friend. Hey. Real quick. I know he, I know he said he wanted to stop, but... Is that Gandalf's hat? And firework. And firework. You are decked out. I love that. I love this. Okay, here we go. That was such a good quote. Do the dead frighten you? I know. Wasn't it? That was a really good one. And I was thinking that could be... It could be either. It could be Tolkien or Martin. Yeah. That's very, very good. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Um, da, 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 da. The, uh, <laughs> this is, there's so many. There's so many. Okay. I think I've got a couple of good ones here. I think I've got a couple of good ones. Thank you for bearing with me. Uh, <laughs> Let me see. There was one that they had that they emailed me last night that was, that's the one I'm going to use. The one that they emailed me last night is the best one. It is by far the best one, and so that's what I'm going to use. Now, I love this. I love that I was prepared and they sent me this email last night. So here we go. This is the quote I want to use. Hold on for me one second. Where, ah, here we go. All right. So comes snow after fire, and even dragons have their endings. Is that from The Hobbit or from The Game of Thrones? That is from The Hobbit. You're right. You're right. You're right. Excellent. Well done. That's from The Hobbit. Because it's got the Yes. Everyone's thinking, oh, winter is coming. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, almost got gotcha. you. And there's dragons in both. See, that was a pretty good one, too. Okay, well done. So um, see that man for another gift. And now we're going to move on to one of the next things that we want to film. Well done, sweetheart. Well done. Are we going to do the Gandalf roast? The, the Gandalf roast is going to be fun. Huh? We're going to set up for a Gandalf roast, and we'll be back in five minutes. Okay, very, very good. I know you guys can still hear my voice because I'm still on camera. Hello, everybody. <laughs> if you guys can see me, we're going to set up a Gandalf comedy roast where some of our fans here can roast Gandalf to his health. And hopefully you guys online can throw in a couple of good one-liners as well. If you were going to roast Gandalf, Comedy Central style, think of what you would say. Tweet us at... Regal Movies, and also tweet us at uh, The One Ring Net. Of course, we're at hashtag Super Hobbit. Make sure you use hashtag Super Hobbit. We'll be back in just a few minutes as we stage the next shot. Thank you. Very good. Doing my little, I'm doing my little dance. Yeah, I always, I always dance backwards. You know, I don't. I don't know. All right. Let me, What's he doing? <laughs> oh, you are? Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? That was genius. Cliff, you that just came out of nowhere. But it's amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. He just totally that Chris was, Rock dropped the mic. That was oh. so... That was so Atlanta. I am that not was, gonna, I love that was ATL. It was Dirty South. That was so Freaknik. I am I not mean, gonna. I, I want to go to Freaknik next I'm time. I'm not gonna. <laughs> wait, what, what is what is what's what's in the southern part of Middle Earth? Um, that would be down in the Harad Way, where the Harad Rim ride at Olafant. Remember yeah. the big things they ride on the Return of the King? Oh, Olafant. They're from the south. They ride the Olafants. Okay, so that was like dirty Olafant stuff. <laughs> dirty, dirty. Olafant. That when they talk about the dirty south in Middle Earth. That's what they're talking about. <laughs> you wow. Guys. Okay. Uh, we we had we have a total winner there, don't we? Yes, we do. We have such he a winner. It, he brought the pain. He brought the game. Cliff, how you doing? I'm really good, buddy. How you been? <laughs>
We've been apart for this entire time, but now we're back together again. Reunited. And, and it's there. understood. Scooby Dooby Doo. Is that are those the lyrics? Sort of, but okay. that's yeah. Okay. All right, fantastic. A different song. Exactly. <laughs> you change channels faster than my remote control, that's man. That's totally fine. You really? Do. I love What's that up, though. Are we ready? Yeah. Hey, we're, you, you missed. Oh, the cliff rap. We're oh, no. He showed me him dropping the mic. Oh yeah. That was so funny. You guys are funny. We're gonna we're gonna roast Gandalf very no, soon. This mic is broken now. <laughs> now it probably works better now that he dropped it. We're gonna roast Gandalf. Ooh, we're gonna do a Comedy Central roast of Gandalf. The we're Green. going to roast Gandalf. Before we roast, ask like some people what's their their lowest point Ooh. as a Hobbit fan. Ooh, like, like really personal questions. Well, we have because this is not being live streamed. Mm. Oh yeah, the live stream is very different. Yeah. Come on in, gentlemen. How could everybody? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, roaster, roaster, roaster. Roaster, I'm barely newer. Roaster. Are we rolling, guys? Kenny Rogers. You're the Jeff Ross of what's going on here. Can we borrow your wine glass, Eowyn? Oh, really? Nice. Very nice. The juice. This is for the screen. Those trolls never got a chance to roast me. Anyway, if you ever go to the show, it's, it's a fun time. It's I will, a really fun time. I will, I will, but in my in my experience, getting with Someone on all sides. Gandalf likes the babes. I have yes. to explain slash fiction to people. Oh, yeah? You know how it started? Oh. It started with Kirk slash Spock. That was the original fan fiction. And you just want one line a piece from us, right? Brian, how do you and how do you want me to react to all of that? We need you to do a few spit takes, so they need to get your speeches. Without exception, yes. We have a roast master general. Checkity check, is it on now? And now, <laughs> and now we're going to try that all over again. No, no we're not. not. Once upon a time, I actually knew what I was doing in front of a camera. But <laughs> there, no. You know, 
quick intro. This, this again, for the live stream audience who's joining us at theonering.net slash live. They just saw this in mute, and now they get to hear the sound. They, they're, they're, used to, they're used to reading my lips all the time. Oh, they okay. see we have technical outages all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to roast this guy? Send your jokes to at Regal Cinemas, hashtag Super Hobbit. Regal and Movies. Regal Movies. I meant to say Regal Movies. At Regal Movies. <laughs> because that Regal Movies represents Regal, and we love those guys. They're giving away super tickets today. Did you know that? Yeah, I didn't know that. What? How about that? I, I'm going to roast you, and I'm going to roast you good, buddy. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> really? Okay. Thank, thank, you, thank you to the man who scratched up my door. Oh, well, it was a door that needed to be scratched. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely an itch that needed to be scratched. I want to say, I want to say, Gandalf, who would we be without you? We would be stuck with Saruman. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, Saramanella. <laughs> I knew you were there, by the way. Now. <laughs> And I'm going to ask all of our fun friends who are here if they've got something they want to say about our adorable fellow Gandalf. This is his hour. This is his time. Let the roasting begin. Ladies and gentlemen, who's next to roast our fine fellow friend? First, as the head of the Wizarding Order, I have to tell you that Gandalf the Grey was actually Gandalf the White. But he never does his laundry. Oh. And you can smell him. Personally, I don't like being this close to you. <laughs> Good one. Good one. And we have we have some more. We're going to pass this microphone right down here. So, what when when the dwarf lady speaks, people listen. <laughs> so I got us something to say about the lateness issue. I'm not saying that Gandalf is always late, but if he had been a woman wizard, we would have had Middle Earth trademark birth control pills since the first age. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf Stormcrow, next time you come to Adaras, could you please bring an eligible bachelor? Oh, nice. oh. oh do you want to say she wants to? Uh, we skipped her. <laughs> All right, Gandalf. Gandalf, I like you. You're my handsome man. I so love for you. You did not scare my life. I don't have a joke prepared. When they mentioned Gandalf and getting roasted, I assumed that there was going to be some of the halfling's leaf. Where's Doug Benson when you need it? Uh, well, uh, Gandalf, such a peculiar fellow, long beard, long hat, giant staff, hangs around with the small halflings and the dwarves. What are you trying to compensate for exactly here? Is it, is it a lack of magic or is it something else? Just wanting to know. <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason that, uh, all right, here you go. No, I was going to say. I got nothing. <laughs> I feel like uh, you're, you're very tall. Everything hits below the belt. All right, I'm out of here. Uh, oh. <laughs> a boom, chaka, chaka, chaka. <laughs> what? Gandalf, go ahead. What? You can turn me fly, a torque. To that? <laughs> to anybody. To anything. <laughs> Fix my door, would you? No! Look, you're all a bunch of ungrateful little creatures. I'm trying to save your world, for God's sake. <laughs> Just go back to your hobbit holes, then. Cover your heads up. You're not doing a very good job saving the world. Somehow, evil is getting in. I don't know how, but it is getting in. <laughs> Just bugger off, Sarumana. <laughs> It's lovely to have you here, ladies and gentlemen. The next time we roast someone, it's going to have just a sprinkle of sage. <laughs> Thank you. I got one laugh out of that. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, give me that. Anyway, Gandhi, <clears throat> can I call you that? Anyway, anyway, gown, Gandril, can I call you that? No, you may not. Okay. That shall not pass. Anyway, <laughs> Gandy Moore. Uh, Gan Gandy Moore. He's out of control. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we we all love yous. We we appreciate what you've done. We we enjoy we enjoy your fireworks. We enjoy we enjoy your fireworks. Uh, we enjoy that. Uh, uh, the uh, and the fireworks <laughs> again maybe some overcom maybe some overcompensating <laughs> with all of the explosions um but i believe that everyone here uh, uh owes you a, a thanks and uh and a goodbye <laughs> <laughs> well goodbye to you it was a magical event <laughs> wonderful 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 Okay, live audience, we are going to do some more mischief, and we're going to do one more set of things, so stay tuned, camera's going to move around, and the microphone will be turned on next time, I promise you, the microphone will be turned on, I promise you. So we want to say hi. We're sitting right here, Phoenix of Durand. Say hi to uh, Rasputin, the evil Balrog. 
Hello, Phoenix of Duran. I am very happy that I could inspire anyone to do more costuming because it's all about the costumes. It's always been all about the costumes. There's some great ones, and we need more, more dwarves and more dwarf women. So bring it on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. What he said. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I have a funny feeling that there's going to be some dwarf dancing going on here in just the next couple of minutes. We're ready for... Who is dressed in any dwarf attire? We've got two dwarves. We have two dwarf ladies. Do we have any other dwarves? That's right. How, how does a dwarf dance? How, can you show us the best example of how a dwarf will really do some hoofing? Um, possibly. I think that... Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> they're 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 very traditional, and you'll find that their dances actually are really related to another very very ancient race of people. So so if you'll you'll take my my hand, Cliff, are you going to join me for this? Indeed. And we need to go left over right. Left over right. Then back. There. And forward. And back. back. And forward. forward and left over. We don't have any music for our dwarf dancing. Yeah, it That's it. I have never had such an exhausting choreography in my life. Oh, exhausting. Yes. I, I really forced you to bring it there. You did. That was lovely. I couldn't see your feet because the. You know, the endless fabric, I couldn't, but I did my best. I was the Twyla Tharp of Erebor, <laughs> not? <laughs> who, who else? Who okay, else? if you can make an Imelda Marcos reference, I can, I can, make, I can. I can bring out the Twyla Tharp. I'm not the one who owns 12 pairs of shoes. We can throw in a little fussy. Here's another one. You guys need Nikes, because Nikes. you've got another one. Here's another dwarf. Yeah, really oh, sweet. are we ready to dance? Yeah. No yes? You ready to dance, Karen? Was the okay, here we go. Dun, dun, da, 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 dun, dun, dun. There must be some other dwarven melody we could try. <laughs> dun dun dum dum da da dum 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 Bum 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 ba da bum 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 ba da bum 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 ba bum This hand ba da bum ba bum Well done Very nice Excellent dancing, my dear. And now... I've done some embarrassing things on the camera before, but this is pretty much up there. <laughs> the bowing is good. Well done. And the bowing... To the camera. To the camera, we Maybe bow. Maybe top ten. Very good. Yes. There are only... And we have had them both do a little dance. Someone has to do some more mischievous dancing. At least. <laughs> oh, that was very good, though. Well, I would, but there's no pole here, Cliff. Yeah. Oh, we can arrange that. Gaston, can we install? Can we? Francisco, can we install a... No? We can't install a pole. Gandalf, you want to do a bit of dwarf dancing? Sure. Hey, right on up this way. Where do you want to boogie, boogie with the dwarf? Yeah, right here. There's somebody else who knows how to dance a dwarven jig. You might know him. Bring it, David. Bring it, David. Bring it. <laughs> sure you do. How about a hobbit?
Let's go. Yeah. Give me away some beautiful. Okay, so much Close by. You guys. On. All right, so let's get you over here. Okay, let's make sure we hit Nagel hard. No, it just uses a regular. So it's the super ticket time. No, uh, a regular. Well, it is super you, ticket. You can use card in, so everybody gets one each. You can use yeah, it's, everyone's going to get one too, right? Yeah, it seems like. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Yeah. Line up for the super tickets. Yeah. You just get bring your token and come over here and line up and I'll hand you your ticket. Everybody has your to Tolkien token? Yeah, everybody's got their Tolkien token. It's even better than that collectible dwarf coin from Denny's. No, that's all. I already used it. Yeah. 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 Dwarf coin. I, you know. Dwarf coin. <laughs> that one, that one, I thought you were right. So, people are going to be doing that stuff. Tolkien. Yes, they are. And you're going to give them the super ticket. Indeed, they are. Indeed, indeed. And you get to walk by and you have to walk around and come back to us. I know you guys are watching live. But we're going to actually change. Okay, I hold in my hand the great destiny of Middle Earth. No, I don't. I hold in my hands some really lovely super tickets that have been given to us by our excellent friends at uh, Regal Cinemas. You can find them on their Twitter account, at Regal Movies. Yes. <laughs> at Regal Movies. I'm going to say it again. Find our friends online and follow them on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter, at the One Ring Net. Use, use the hashtag SuperHobbit, and we're going to have a fantastic time giving away tickets to all of our fans who've come here today for our big event. Um, I'm quite frightened. There was a sudden fear came over me. Now I know why. Witch King is oh, the witch, the witch king has arrived. So, everyone, give me their, give me their Tolkien. Okay. Everyone, Karen, you are first. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Just, there, that's for you, my dear. You. And that one is for you as well. Mm -hmm. That is a gift. That's a gift card for any movie anywhere at Regal. Wow. Yes. So this is this is. Uh, a nice little gift card, and we also have the super ticket. You know what they get with the super ticket. What is that? What is that? What do they get with the super ticket, Cliff Broadway? No, when you're, when you're going to see The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug, which, which opens on December 13th. Desolate. Desolate. From Warner Brothers and Cin uh, New Line Cinema. Yes. When you use this super ticket, you actually get a special code to, to download an unexpected journey, and you get the digital download of Desolation of Smaug next year, Four days before, before any it is released for anybody else. For everybody else. Yeah. And what else? And you also get entered into an excellent sweepstakes where the grand prize is a trip to the real Middle Earth, the real Middle Earth. New Zealand. You get to go. She's already been, but she will love to go back. Of excellent course. sweepstakes, courtesy of our friends at Air New Zealand. I love working with you guys. Air New Zealand is a great bunch of folks. Air New Zealand. Yeah, Air New Zealand. They're sponsoring our giveaway. Oh, is that an airline? To New Zealand? Uh, you better believe it's an airline to New Zealand. Okay. Don't you ever fly Quant Qantas. I'll kick. Listen, I have the most wonderful super tickets. Who's next? Boom. Oh, yes. This gift card includes, you know, not just a super ticket, but there's also a Regal Cinemas gift card that's good for one single admission to any Regal movie. So this will get me into Desolation of Small. That's right. And no, no it won't. This will get you into digital download. The code. For the that's for the desolation of smoke. Boom. That's how that works. Yeah, that is exactly how that works. I love the details. Yeah, like the RPX or the IMAX, the this premiums or any of them. This is for the highest amount ticket. You awesome. Can get awesome. I'm so glad I have somebody I can actually ask yeah. that question of. Good, because you all now know the answer. There you go. You guys are going to get you can ask it again. a gift card here. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have. 
gotten yours. You're very good. Next. Come on over here, my friend. Hi. Welcome back. Am I now carrying the coins? Hey. Are you carrying the coins now? Yes. I will, I will hold on to it. My name is Baron Vaughn, everyone. And I will, <laughs> my name is Baron Vaughn. You just put on that cosplay, and you're so different now. That's I know. fantastic. That's just amazing. Method act. A transformation. Method oh, yes, together. Here we are. Hey. My camera Ah, always. Here you go, my friend. So you've got this. That's right. for the entrance to the film. Thank you. That's for the downloads. Excellent. Well done. Good to have you guys here today. Well, you know what? So cool. He took all the bags. Oops. One guy, he's, he's taking bags. You'll have to recount them later. Uh-oh. Here's your, thank you, my dear. There's your movie ticket. There's your super ticket. Have a good time. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. Hello there, sir. How you doing? Thank this you. one is for you, and this one also. Oh, wait, only one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this, I have an exact count. Thank you. So, Thank thanks, you. Alain. Thanks. Good to have you guys here today. Excellent. Excellent. Hey there, buddy. I know. Is it? You turn on it, and I'm going to put it in my hand. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> That's for you. And oh, oh, wait, thank you. That is for you. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. So great to hear. Congratulations. It's like a it's like graduation in a sort of a way. It's like here's your diploma. You're gonna get carded. You're gonna get carded. You're gonna get carded. Everyone's a winner. Careful with those fireworks. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Hello. The token. Hello. There you go. Thank you. That's so you can go see the movie, and this is so you can download it later. Yeah. Excellent. It's my favorite rapper. Three skills, buddy. Very good. Oh, you're a good archer too. She's got all the skills. Oh, goodness. Well done. Nathaniel, right? Good. Well played, guys. Good well day, played. Nathaniel. Thank you, dear. Oh, yeah. Jor-El, son of jor -El. I love it. <laughs> what does that S stand for? Yeah. That's what they say Good in Man of Steel. Yeah. <laughs> it does. No. Smaug. 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 Go, sir. Thank you, sir. I love, I love the crossover. Game of Thrones fans and Hobbit oh, fans. Got me, man. Yeah, you got oh, it. I love it. That's great. I get to walk towards the camera right now. That's what I get to do. So we're giving out the super tickets, and uh, that is the end of the event. So thank you for watching, human beings at home. Um, yeah, check out the Desolation of Smaug. You know you want to. You do. I know I'm telling you to do it because you're already going to do it. I'm going to do it. Bye. Oh, okay. Hey guys, um, now we are giving out our this super tickets for the Desk House the Smaug right now. This is a fun time, fun time. Fun time. Fun time. We did it. Job well done. What's your name again, man? Lasha. Lasha? Where are you from? Georgia. Oh, Georgia, really? Okay, cool. I love Georgia. Atlanta? No, I know. Yeah, the other, the real Georgia, the one that we yeah. stole. Right. The name that we stole. That's what I'm getting with all the things. Get out of here. I have you're been. Not from Georgia. You're not from Georgia, Where did you yeah. You get your accent from. Exactly. See, we don't, people don't know that, like, people don't understand there's Paris. They know there's Paris, Texas. Or Alexandria, that's a different city, etc., etc. Ooh. Samoa. There was an old York. <laughs> Newport. Newport. Um, I've been. I haven't been to much of. Um, as far as I've gone to Slovakia, that's as close as I've gotten to Georgia. Slovakia. Czech Slovakia. No, just Slovakia, because it's two countries now, right? I remember that happened. Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia. Kloop. Which one? Oh yeah, Soviet Union now. Georgia. What's next to Georgia? You got Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Chechnya, right? All the good stuff. All the good stuff. <laughs> I would know. You cannot go better than this. We have Turkey, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Chechnya, Russia. I mean, I get you. 
I told Sketch. Okay, so we just want to do some. Uh, I signed. I signed off already. Intros and oh. for you guys. Hold on, no, we want. To... Oh, we're dead. Yeah, battery's gone. No, no, no. I think we're off. We want to do uh, this. Yeah, we want to do intros and outros for this. Okay. Yes. In, 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 in,